Welsh and Adebayo on the tap, controlled by the Bruins. Uh, Jim Nance, Grant Hill right now. Kentucky Goos, man to man. And the two point guards are matched up with one another. A little hold on the cut. Uh, Didn't not, take long for a first whistle. That you know, was Willis. Uh, nice little backup by T. And that's what Steve talked about, that stretch four in Teal. He's a tough matchup. And I think Leap is more than a stretch four as well. Oh, Paul really had him set up, too, on the inbounds pass. He's sure the old dummy play. Here's Fox. In the paint. Hits the floater. And he can get that whenever he wants as Fox picks up full court on ball. Must get in the paint to be effective for Kentucky. Yeah, how about this matchup tonight? Fox and ball. There's ball. Wow. That's the three. It's amazing. He just knows how to create space and knock that corkscrew down. I get nervous when I say corkscrew. <laughs> who has struggled with his shot. First two games of the tournament. They wanted to get more pull-up jumpers. Willis, the senior, short with that one. And that's nice look. Oh, Quick my snap. goodness. Up ahead and the missed layup. That was Hamilton. <laughs> he shortens the floor ball like nobody else you've seen. As Briscoe hits the side of the backboard. We want this pull-up jumper for Monk. Right now, UCLA is almost daring Kentucky to shoot the ball from the perimeter, really packing it in on defense. A little hook, good step through. Welsh holds his ground on Adebayo. And Adebayo's going to have some problems with well, He does a great job on the baseline screen. He gets those 12-foot jumpers. And that's Briscoe knocking it out. Talk about size and length inside Welsh. So tall, just able to tip the ball and get a block inside. But out of body, we've got to go and attack Welsh inside on the perimeter. Nice pass right there to the open jump, pick and pop. And Lee buries the three. And that's what's the difference with Alford. He makes plays. He was that point guard last year. The off guard, he really has a great feel for what to make a look. 1-3 for Ball, 1-3 for Leaf, and off the floor with it is UCLA with Alford. Watch him in the early, and doesn't where, mind jacking it. This is where they're so dangerous, transition offense here. Leaf on the drive. Welsh off the glass, back out to Ball. Squirts through his hands, and then right through the hands of Leaf as well. Back to Kentucky. Now, how are they going to handle the ball screens on this end? That was a problem. You got the ability to get good, clean looks. you got to show a little bit if you're UCLA. Well, the bigs for UCLA, they stay in the paint defending the screen and roll. So Fox can turn that corner and get in that paint whenever he wants. Winion Gabriel getting the call early off the bench for Coach Cal. Here he is. And Monk puts it up. Bruins underneath with it. Lost it out of bounds. Back to the Wildcats. Nice hands by Gabriel, kept it alive. But once again, I think Monk's settling outside. And unfortunately, uh, this one, I guess, ends up coming off. Yep, yeah, a little drop kick and a beauty. You talk about Monk in the month of March, only 19% from the three-point mm. line. So getting into the paint, maybe off the, off the dribble, would be effective for Monk if he struggles early. That's Fox. He's tough. That's a two. Well, these two guys playing one of the right now. And they love this challenge. Uh, look for Ball to give it up a little bit when Holiday comes in and play off the ball a little more. UCLA so patient, late in the shot. Two the Bruins ball. there, confusion. Okay. And it's Kentucky off the floor. Fox. Smart, huh? Waits for the traffic, gets the feel. How do we extend and deliver the knockdown? I love that he plays on the defensive end as well. Takes the challenge trying to guard Lonzo Ball full court. <laughs> He's got range out there. <laughs> he does. He can make it. He closed the space though, Fox. Alford. Long with the shot. Pretty oh, to he is not afraid, Leaf, to attack the rim. He did it early in the year against Kentucky. Tough kid. Looks like he serves mass, but tough as well. Ball with the block. Ball. 
Nice he blows it up. Welsh! And a foul. You got to run back and identify. He is having a ball when he can make plays in the open floor. One of the most unselfish players. All you have to do here is a big arrive early. And on that play, Kentucky, two guys went to Lonzo Ball defensively. You got to communicate in your transition defense, especially against UCLA. Seven foot junior from Redondo Beach, California. Three point play. And Kentucky finds itself down five early. Biggest deficit it faced at any point last week in Indianapolis was four against Wichita State in a game that came down to the wire. We have Fox with the hot hand. And that's the same play, and as Grant mentioned, the center is not showing. He's laying back off. He's going to get that all night. They've got to step up, show a little bit more. Ball on the drive. And he's rejected by Gabriel. Hamilton may have stemmed the fast break out of hand on the pass. Gabriel fight for it on the floor. And score the other way. And you were right. UCLA, they have improved defensively, swarming everywhere. But as you said, Jim, it is a trap meet here early in Memphis. De'Aaron Fox, four for four from the field. He's got all eight Kentucky points. And Jim, he is just getting to the paint, obviously knocking down a jump shot right there, but feeling good attacking. He's got to stay and maintain aggressive for Kentucky to have a chance. And he's been on fire, no question about it. He's been the offense for this team. He's solid at getting into the lane. I think at some point, he's going to either adjust with a show or maybe trap him out there. So Kentucky goes back to its first five. UCLA without a sub. And here's that pressure. And I think this is because of that earlier game, late in the game, they didn't inbound real well. UCLA, that is, because of the pressure. Let's go great at picking up charges, very strong. Leaf. Look at all Willis. How about that shot? Oh, 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 a, neck, a, a neck ball. <laughs> oh, clean it up. From the other side, no less. <laughs> that's amazing. How does that happen? Oh, that is a nice little kiss here and unrewarded. I have never seen that. Have you? That's no. touch. <laughs> uh, bad touch, I guess, right? Wow. There's the jump ball. Possession arrow goes the other way. Aaron Holiday. Comes onto the floor for the first time, and he gives them a lot off the bench. 12 a game. And that's why the, the matchup be on Fox now. And this is where I think they're a little tougher. And get some runouts. Here's Dominique Hawkins into the game, too, the senior who's played so well of late. Holiday's the edge for me. I just love his competitiveness, his toughness. Nice help. Hawkins to Willis. Senior to senior. A push, I think. Welsh. It is on Welsh. Who's going to make the most shots? Who has more points in the second half? If your bracket's busted, and I know a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about, play the Capital One NCAA Tournament Run game on NCAA.com and in the March Madness Live app. You're still alive, though. You've had seven or eight sheets you've worked on. You've been here enough time. Something looks good. And here's that zone that they've gone to late in the season. I think the middle is open, but the bigness on the top. Look at ball stretch now at six foot six. Tough to get into the passing lanes. Three-point shot for Hawkins. And Hawkins had a big game in the first half against Wichita State. Came in and hit some shots. Got to loosen up that zone from the perimeter for Kentucky. Ball short. Now Bristol waits for Willis to get down the floor. Great show by Leaf. That's tough to handle an early drag screen. Willis. Hawkins. Beat it down low. Out of bio to Willis. Fires it. Got it. it. Nice inside out basketball. You sneak a peek to help a little bit. Bang it out. Willis delivers. The last eight points to the Wildcats. Here's Holiday. Back the ball. Look to the over. corner to Hamilton. Nice. Passed out by Welsh. Oh, he was thinking of the three. In a hurry to Willis. Push it up ahead to Holiday. Yeah, they don't, we will not have a shot clock violation, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to make those dangerous bets. 
That's his shot. Wow. Well, he missed. Follows it up, though, the two. He nice. never misses that baby seven. Guys are bent over a little for UCLA right now. They love playing at this speed, but it wears you down. Oh, they're showing a little better now. Plus, Plus, got Leaf to commit. Comes inside. Tap, no. Outside. It's Holiday. Pretty look. To Leaf. Kentucky slow getting back in transition. UCLA, one of the best at converting from defense to offense. They're tired until they get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> they're tired on defense. Exactly. exactly. The Leaf can really do so many things. So fundamentally sound. I thought Willis passed up a three-pointer on that last play. He's got to punt his shot, make Leaf work on the defensive end. I keep going inside, see if he can get, well, the steps because of the double. Yeah. Who was it? Lonzo. Ball. He knows his ball. I'll tell you what, on offense, they run downhill in transition, four against three, and they run the lanes. Unselfish, great one-handed pass there by Holiday. Kentucky has to get back here against this high potent offense. What a weapon to have Holiday. They can play a little bit smaller if they want. Hamilton is the third option up there. Nice play. Wow, oh, way, way up there. <laughs> Looked like uh, Duke against Kansas back in 91 <laughs> championship game. Yeah, but he finished, Hill. he finished the deal though. Well, he had a better haircut too. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Bogo normally able to seal that. It's got to be monk time for Kentucky. You got to get him engaged and involved as Fox is on the bench. Humphrey's in the game for Kentucky. Oh, nice adjustment. There's a trap. There's a three. This kid, you mentioned, he's just a gamer. Doesn't get a whole lot of minutes in the early part of his career. Great defender, now knocking him down. And like you said, Grant, like he did against the Shockers last Sunday in Indianapolis, contributing early. Leaf, and he's hit on the arm. Willis. Once they got to the regional, he knew he had so many friends from his time here. They put together one reception, invited about 200 of his friends, former players, uh, teachers for his mm -hmm. children. One stop, one night, one reception. They see everyone, make a little talk. Pretty nice, yeah. really. Uh, you know, you would think, though, after going to Kentucky and making this large salary, he'd go to more than a donut shop. <laughs> you know, step up a little. You know, past that list. But it is nice. He, he, that his uh, son was so happy to meet some of the teachers, you know, they've been away for so long. Yeah. Finally, going to break, Willis picked up his second foul. So he's on the bench. Humphreys is on the floor for the Wildcats, the seven foot sophomore from Sydney, Australia. Uh, GG Goleman on the floor now. They got a nice rotation. Uh, you can put Welsh out. You can also. Give a blow for Leaf. So yeah. you know, deeper than they were early in the year. Here's another little trap. And I know Humphreys may not take that deep three. He's not bad at 15. Out of bio. He walked. He walked. About three times he did. Yeah, he did. He may have gotten great play. The chair right there on that play defensively. He doesn't know Rick Mahorn. Uh, he may huh? have. Yeah. He, 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 he didn't get some tape and hungry on Mahorn. <laughs> <laughs> So Willis sitting with the two. Risco and Gabriel alongside. And here's Holiday sitting around Fox. This is what makes him tough, Jim. Dual point guards. And you got a third in Bryce. Ball on the drive in. Pretty. Scoops it up left handed. He knew, he knew Humphreys was looming. Wisely used that rim to protect. He's got to keep busy. It's a dribble handoff they like to give him. Monk. Back and forth it goes without a bio. Look at Paul with a little swipe just to help his nice denial. And six to shoot. Stays with Kentucky. And coach, just hesitation, freeze move by Ball. 
and just using the rim as a shield at left hand. Just has all the tools. He can does. do it all offensively and plays with that calm, cool. Smart, too, I mean, right? Very, very, very intelligent. Great feel for the game. Three to shoot. Fox. Soft. Clever. Owns the lane. Michael Mulder came into the Kentucky lineup. Once that ball went out of bounds, so he's seeing his first action. Calipari rotating a lot of players in early in this game. And Mulder's got a guard. He can to shoot that deep shot. He's not a good direction. Long hand. Yeah, pass was off the mark. Hawkins. Gulaman able to come away with it for the Bruins. He gives it up, and if they don't get something good, it comes back to ball. A little nickel dimer there on the mismatch. He reads it, too. Gets it right to Hawkins Gardner. You can watch Masters Live on CBSSports.com for exclusive video down at Amen Corner, 15 and 16 featured groups. Highlights, analysis, watch live on CBSSports.com and Masters.com. So Hawkins with the foul, his first. And here's Alford. A little hesitation, he's got a switch off. And a mismatch. He doesn't mind settling for this. Nice big time <laughs> rebound. On a Bogu, and here's a lob to him, and again, it's too steep. As he takes a nasty fall to the floor. And that was an elite rebound. <laughs> yeah. Had a bio with a little shove at the end of this, but uh, go up and get that one. And they get Humphreys up there. The bio was in that area as well. So on a Bogu, on a Bogu to the line, Humphreys picks up his first. Coach, he has a chance to be really special. So young, 18 years old this past October. Shot blocker, rim protector, finisher. As he gets developed, watch out. And great body, physical in play, screens well too. And right on the catch, they know Alford's got range. Oh, my oh. He has showed signs off the dribble of late. Terrific penetration. The big fella, Gigi saying, <laughs> let me through here. Gulaman to the rack. Impressively, and that squirts out of the hands of Fox. I think they got Holiday with the grab. And you like when big fellas can put it on the floor. Gulaman getting to the rack. I thought Mulder could have had a charge there, but what skill and talent to be that tall and to be able to drive from the three-point line and finish with authority. Fantastic. That, that's that depth they've developed. Holiday with his first foul. And we've had a seventh lead change off the dunk by Goleman. The monk doesn't really have many touches. Holiday on a nice screen by Humphreys. Fox, that's a three. And a Bogu, I think, with the giveaway. It is. That last foul was not on, on a Bogu. It was on Gulaman. And you can see points in the paint. 20 for the Bruins versus six for the Wildcats. Steve Alford in his fourth year in Westwood. There's been a lot of speculation. The Indiana job opened 30 years ago. Of course, he led Indiana to the national championship and was the MOP as he hit seven threes in the championship game. And you did the game. Of course, why not? Bob Knight is immortalized. He's one of the great players in the history of Indiana basketball. And you know his name is going to come up. I mean, uh, whether he does decide that way or not uh, will, remains to be seen. Under eight minutes to go in the first half. It's not playing at the pace no. like the first matchup that was in the 90s. Well, we both feel the defense by pull. That's a tough shot. That's his game. Well, they want to do that more of a pull up. Both teams are better defensively, Grant. Without a doubt. There really are no clean looks for either team out here. But that was a tough shot there by Monk. So Monk with the two point shot to put the Cats back ahead by one. Nice pass. Oh, shoot it. The ball is wide open. I think he felt maybe the heat from behind. 
Holiday, what a give up to Goleman. I tell you, if they do anything wrong, they overpass. <laughs> they are so good in depth at finding the open guy. Not sure he had a clean catch, but maybe that could be too. Led to a great pass from Holiday, that's for sure. Monk with the push off. Got to give Holiday credit there. Making the extra effort on defense, drawing the charge on Monk, sliding his feet. Over to Tracy. Jim, regarding the report that Steve Alford has been offered the Indiana job, I reached out to him and I spoke with him yesterday and he said Indiana is his home and he's had great memories with the Hoosiers, but he said he's happy at UCLA, feels blessed to coach this team, and that's his focus right now. I asked him if it's been a distraction. He said absolutely not, and he did not discuss it at all with his team, Jim. Okay, well, Bruins focused on this tournament right now and taking on Kentucky and that's going back to the Wildcats. That's why you don't like big guys to have the ball that far from the basket. You got to be tough, be prepared. They're going to bring Welsh in for Anapogu. You know, Jim, I was out at L.A. and I always say, give me a good Bob Knight story to Steve. He said he was running to the gym. Bob said, do you have a pen? He ran to the locker room, got a pen. And he said, now look, write this down. D. E. Am I going too fast for you? <laughs> M. Guard. Oh, man. On the other side of the floor. So they got well sure. They got well. Yeah. His second. And they're fighting inside with Bam out of Bayo. And that's one of the differences, too, from December. Adebayo is more involved offensively for Kentucky. Really unable right now to get going. And, and Grant, they didn't get Welsh out in time. Leaves up at the scores table, said, go to zone to protect them. I'd still go inside at him. He's a key guy in their scheme. And that sweet spot's in the middle there, right in the zone. And they do. Fox steps up. That's Holiday. Out wrestling Hawkins for it. Nice job by Adebayo trapping the dribbler. Nice pass. Gorman. How about this kid though? Nice look. Welsh runs it down. Ball on the floor. Gorman, I love that. He has really done a solid job. Great effort. They keep possession. Narrow belongs to UCLA. You talk about these guys wanting to advance, fighting for the ball. A collision there on yeah. the floor, giving it all here. Fantastic effort, both teams. Fox took a pretty good hit there, didn't he? So he comes out of the game. Leaf back out there. And keep Welsh on the floor. Interesting. That's all for not getting the spin. Frisco, able to get free for two. And that's what Frisco does, gets to the basket in transition. Fantastic move and finish by the sophomore. Nice Holiday. run to leave. What effort. Right out of bio, off the floor with it. Able to give it up, Fox in a hurry. Tapped out to Hamilton. Doesn't have the numbers. We'll wait. Nice look. Nobody underneath. And a save. Saved by Leaf to Welsh and a Kentucky foul. Well, they do make great passes, though. A leak out. Nobody protects, but this is that little crossover move. He is tough. Briscoe, but he turns those shoulders and attacks the rim. Second foul on Hawkins. One-on-one -on -one coming for Welsh. Who was part of Coach Alford's first full recruiting class at UCLA? One more coming. Tournament summary: North Carolina advancing to the Elite Eight, fourth time in seven years. The South Carolina Elite Eight for the first time in school history. The Carolinas winning in the early action tonight. Yeah. A little to more history than a lot of people know about South Carolina. I, Frank think, McGuire. I'm thinking of Frank. Like, he taught coaches how to dress. Much less win and recruit. <laughs> Kevin Joyce. Yeah, Kevin Joyce, Brian Winters, Michael Dunleavy. And Michael Dunleavy, absolutely. Owens, Roach. I mean, he had a 
an expensive subway system. But Elite Eight for the first time for the Gamecocks. And we'll play in the East Final against the winner of the Wisconsin-Florida game, which is underway, and Badger's off to a good start. Nice move by Fox. A nice deployment. They had everybody lifted, and no weak side protection. That's a little curl play. Nice lot. Look at this. Right on the money. Hey. Got it there. That's unbelievable. Able to deliver. It was a perfect pass. Who can make that play? <laughs> I mean, that's one of those coaches, don't do that. You can't accomplish it. No fear. UCLA has got to figure out how to defend this screen and roll, particularly with Fox. He's able to turn that corner every time. He's playing off the ball now with Briscoe. Monk launches a three. Well, they were right up on him, too, Hamilton. Monk one for four from the field. Uh, Leaf has got a, an advantage right now. Mulder on him. He can elevate, can find people, get offensive rebound, backs him in. And he traveled. I, th I think he's made some great passes. They haven't been able to finish some opportunities he's provided them. And, but I like the way they're mixing it up. Him on the ball sometimes, sometimes. Holiday, how about you? I, I, I love this kid's game. I, I actually think he should be more aggressive sometimes looking for a shot. He might be at times too unselfish if I had a criticism. We understand his father is back home in California watching this. He's not here in person. Well, he's raised a kid that knows how to play. That's not his game, but once in a while he's worked on it. Frisco. Right. Just 27% from three on the season. So Briscoe gives us our 14th lead change. Paul makes it. Nope. That looked online from our angle, but here come the Cats. As Fox drives in. <laughs> Lost it on the way up. Bruins are running. Look at this look. And Bounce it's pass. Oh, and Gabriel got a hand on it. They say there was contact. Yeah, they, they, they got a piece of the wrist, but that's exactly what we alluded to. He, some of these aren't finished, but I pay to see this. And you know, Grant, I'm a little tight, but he gives it up at the right time. And how about this? And no question about it. Yep. That's well, one of those deals. Why not switch to the left and just finish the deal? Well, like normal, I'll pay for you. But how about Lee <laughs> getting out and running the court, having a big guy who can run with ball? Mm -hmm. Gabriel's second. Willis has two. Hawkins has two. He's getting older. He's got that little goatee going here. <laughs> Only one of two. They keep using the ball screen for Fox. He is pretty good at it. Buck. How he <laughs> elevates is amazing. Pogo sticks. And that was not as easy as it looked. And goes up as high as he has to. The lob, pretty look again. This kid's nice set. I believe they are on the same page. And this Monk, Anabogu. It is, Anabogu called for that one, his first. And Raph, I love Monk moving without the basketball and a nice little mid-range, a little fade on that shot. Can't get all the way to the basket against the length of UCLA, but he can get that shot anytime he wants. Mind you, that fading to his left, big three hit late in the game against Wichita State in the same side of the floor. He's a heck of an offensive player. Back to the zone. The length at the top. Briscoe not bad in that lane here. I think the spot is in the corner for the shooter. Step up to the two. Tapped out to Briscoe. That was Humphreys who kept it alive. Ooh, goodness. Goodness. <laughs> You were wondering about that? Ooh. He has some range and some game. That's been missing for a while. Alford. Goes back outside, and Hamilton! They got a lot of options, don't they? And the key, your guy Nash taught a lot of people, keep the dribble alive, don't do anything silly. And Alford with the five. UCLA had missed its previous six from three. 
before that one. A little more than a minute to go. And what's been a tightly contested first half. Briscoe, long with it. Nice. Another opportunity for the Cats, thanks to Humphreys keeping it alive. Oh, he was going to shoot that. Yes, he was. Oh, Monk was ready. Oh, he almost shot it again. Fox dribbles in. They got a foul on the shooting side. And this is a great sign for Kentucky Monk from past the NBA uh, range. And then, of course, UCLA sharing is caring. Of course, finding Hamilton, who he himself, a fantastic shooter. First foul on ball. And that was Kentucky's first free throw attempt. As you see, Holiday returning to the floor with 50 seconds to go in the half. I think both coaches have done a nice job camouflaging foul situations, giving them rest. I think we're going to have a heck of a second half, guys. It was a trap first time. Are you ready? Close the timeout. And a bogey a little bit late, and a bogu posting. Timeout Bruins. They have the life for Visa there, don't they? Oh, they're having fun. Okay, 25 on the shot clock for UCLA. 45 seconds to go in the first half. And back to straight man. Wolford on the floor, too, in this kind of a situation, driving kick. Holiday took his eye off of it, and there's a foul committed on Hawkins. It's going to be his third. And, and that was a silly foul yeah, there by Hawkins. Didn't need to reach on the ball that far away from the basket. Now you're putting Lonzo Ball on the free throw line. You love the aggressiveness, but you right. got to be smart in these situations. Well, he's holding on to the hand and doesn't think he fouls. Well, the hand's part of the ball, they say, right? <laughs> We'll be bringing in again Michael Mulder for Hawkins after this first free throw. Sure, he's didn't bend the knees, and Mulder we know a threat from from deep. One more for Ball, who led the nation in assists this year. Ball now with six points, three assists. A block shot and a steal in this first half. As Leaf goes to the bench, final 30 seconds. Found a three and a half second separation on these two clocks. I think they'll trap if there is a ball screen. Looks like they're tightening it up maybe. To Monk, back to Fox. Weave with a run out. Able to get a shot off cleanly. And what a shot it is. He's amazing. Plenty of time. Five seconds. Ball looks up and sees it. Takes it from midcourt. Well, his younger brother can make that shot. <laughs> but he didn't point down. <laughs> he didn't point to the center circle. And you also talked about Adebayo for Kentucky. They have to establish him inside. He's only had one uh, one field goal attempt in the first half. Can he get going here in the second half for the Wildcats? And UCLA's really done a nice job doubling him and raking down on him. Adebayo had big numbers in the game earlier this season against UCLA, but did not score on that one attempt. Missed one rebound. That's all he had. Nice help by Ball. Here he is. Nice Giving cut. it back to Fox for two more. He's so smart. And now 17 on the night for De'Aaron Fox. You might say he's a slide, <laughs> Fox. And probably uh, to the rim. very much enjoying this chance to show what he can do against Lonzo Ball. He said it best there, the matchup there, that point guard position, and Lonzo Ball getting all the hype. De'Aaron Fox, De'Aaron Fox wanting to show he can play as well. There's Alford play. with his first points and, of the night. And he did a nice job. That's one of your hangups. Guards will settle for the jumper. He just took the big guy right to the tin. Briscoe 
too he easy. He got free, but it slid off the rim. The well, ball didn't pay attention. He just curled around in the lane. Never trailed him or took a shortcut. Oh, look at Fox. Lazy pass. I think he likes this challenge of playing ball. Oh, uh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, I think that you're yeah. right. That was a sloppy pass. Uh-oh. I think we got a game going yeah, here on we go. the game. Here we go. <laughs> and that was set up there by the Alfred screen there. Weaving a run out. That's what they like to do. And UCLA has to figure this out on the defensive end. To the corner to Willis. Hampered with foul trouble in that first half. Monk loads it up. And the way UCLA likes to play, it hurt him that time. Alford leaked out. He had to go get that rebound. Biggest lead of the night for either side. Charge. No call, and the shot hits by Hamilton. And that's a great sign for UCLA. The seniors, Hamilton and Alford, have to play big here in the second half. They both have a field goal. Two-point shot by Isaac Hamilton. 43-39, Kentucky. Fell on the curl. Monk again. That's a two. He had a foot on the line. And we know when he gets going, he can be explosive, Malik Monk. Uh, I've seen him get that 47 against Carolina. Welsh back out to Alfred. He'll take it. And he guns it. Here three. we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is what we both the all three expected. Kentucky's been pretty efficient on their half-court sets, just running this little curl after the pin down. Monk. It's ball. Got one on four. He's going to take it anyway. And they don't get back. Monk for two. Well, that was a mental mistake. Guards did not cover, and they don't get back on the other end. How about that one? Oh, the pass. The perfect spot for Leaf. There's some poor transition defense on both teams right now. I, I think Ball actually may have gotten hit on the arm on that shot. Right now, I think this pace, though, Kentucky, they want to be delivered here and execute what they've done. A, a fantastic job to start the second half. Monk. How about this? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> he can be magical. Oh. He's had stretches this year where he just gets going crazy in a half. He had 30 and a half against Florida in a game. Many other occasions. Gets a streak going like you haven't seen in a long time. He lights it up quickly. Already got 10 in this half in the first four and a half minutes. Ball. Drive it past Mark. Dishes. Welch. Got the baseliner. That, that's his baby. He can patent that little 12-footer. Outside, Welsh. Ball for the foul. His third. Fast start to the second half. But that shows you what this kid can do. He's great without the basketball, which sets it up. He keeps active, a pin down. Got free on the pick for a moment. Willis. That's Welsh. Boxing out. Solid, out of aisle. solid defensive rebounder. I do a little baseline bump with Welsh. She does a good job on it. Almost touched. Fox did not uh, take the four coming out of the break, but he's going to check right back in. Alford. Oh, and he's off to a great start to the second half. Uh, at least they light it up. He has such a quick stroke and a high release point on his shot. Too good to hold him down for two halves. Yeah, talking about Monk coming out with 10 quick ones to start the second half. Alfred, who was scoreless the first half, has got eight. Monk, not this time. Tapped around and saved by Willis. Bounce pass, Hawkins. Floater, yes. And what happened again? The guards took off, didn't help out.
Grisco trying to be physical. You have to against Alford. Can't give him any space. He's like his father using screens, isn't he, Jim? <laughs> exactly. Ball with Willis on him. He's going to take that three. And Adebayo has the rebound. Just his second of the game. A little quick jack, I thought. A little reach in Welsh, another cheapy. That's number four, if I'm not mistaken. And you talk about last year being a point guard off the dribble. Alfred so comfortable now shooting from three off the dribble, finding his rhythm. And then Hawkins, the senior, stepping up. A nice giant killer for two. Yep, and that is Phil, the fourth on Welsh. And he goes to the bench at the 13 39 mark. On a Bogu now in there, he's got to be physical. The problem is he's got to chase Willis. They're in, they stay in the zone. They go to the zone. The range drags people out. Should open up some passing lane. Look at this kid's range. Bunk. <laughs> oh, that took a dip down and comes Steps. out. He's got a way with a walk. Oh, on a Bogu just lifted his arm. And a good selling job on a bio. Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming devices with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Number two on the big guy. And I think for Kentucky against their 3 2 zone, you can't settle for jump shots. You still got to attack it, get into the team, into the paint with either a, a dribble drive or a pass. And it should be simple with the range they have. you got to come out and guard. Somebody's got to flash and rotate. And then Hawkins in there now. Nice entry. Bounces off the knee, though. Got to catch it. Out of bio, unable to handle the pass inside. It was on the mark. But right back, turned over by the Bruins. Fox flying in for two. And a foul. He did a great job selling that play. So it really worked the defense here. A little miscue by Holiday. And right here, he just realizes the defense is eventually going to come at him. Take it on your own. Nice fill by Monk. Usually, this is a lob and a conclusion by Monk. Fox now with 22 in the game. Risco back on the floor. For Hawkins. A real small lineup. This is a dribble drive lineup for UCLA now. So you may find some open jump shooters. Monk's got to pay attention. Leaf drives in, takes it in. <laughs> oh, wow. that touch. A little kiss by the big fella. He reminds me a little bit of Don McQueen. A UCLA great, great with the ball, can shoot the ball from the perimeter, get to the paint. Talk about scoring, right? Yeah, man. Leading scorer in UCLA. All time ahead of uh, Kareem. As Fox adds two more. UCLA doing a lot of speed and roll. They don't do that a lot in the regular season as Ball is able to draw a foul on Monk. They expect Ball to set up the offense. He's such a great choreographer. Well, this guy right here, De'Aaron Fox, is setting it up, wheeling and dealing and finishing, doing it all for the Wildcats. Did uh, Fox hear about that? I uh, looks <laughs> think he might have. It looks definitely. Uh, and to your point earlier, look. Fox is a great player in his own right, has pride, wants to show that he is just as good, if not better, than Ball. Yep. And he is coming out aggressive. They say they have 41 of their 57. As Leaf gets in the lane and is blocked by Willis. Should have gone through a left hand. Nice job by Willis. Briscoe. Not a good play here. Knocked into the first row by Ball. But Fox and Monk have actually scored 27 of Kentucky's last 29. Mm. It's been all about those two. The rookies stepping up. And Steve Walford was saying, you know, the defense has improved, but they're a real good stop team, key stops. So they're going to have some key stops coming down the stretch here. Once again, that little flat 
One, two, two, or three, two. Monk. Wow, just eating it up. Fox to Monk. Boy. Suddenly the lead is nine. And they're gonna have to come out and play them. Mismatch here. He drove him the last time. He's got the left open. Driving in Holiday, and yes, it counts. A nice job with the activity up front. Kept the lane open, UCLA. And that last three was made by De'Aaron Fox. A little screen as he probes the defense, forces the help, and Monk slides to the corner, and he's hot. But of course, Holiday comes back at him, a strong driver, forcing a three-point play opportunity. And puts Monk in a little foul trouble with his third. Mm. Straight up man. Just standing that zone because of those problems. Wall with some size on Monk. He's really going to have to concentrate. Monk again. Tough shot. That good defense by Ball. Holiday going to drive it one more time. Took steps. They got him for it. I thought he might have tripped over the. The feet of Fox there, but Holiday, an aggressive player off the bench, a six man. And yeah, just slipped there and got called for the foul, or excuse me, called for the walk. Some great individual matchups on this end. Uh, Monk takes a rest now. That's that orange look. Hit and follow. Fox sees a seam. And outside. There was contact. Called on holiday. Follow Bleacher Report on Instagram and get the coolest sports content before anyone else. And join millions of others and follow Bleacher Report on Instagram now. And Briscoe on the floor being guarded by Ball. If they do stay, man, looks like they're going zone on the inbounds. Alford sits. Hamilton takes his spot. Holiday just picking up his second. As we reach the midway point of the second half. Now this zone lets you say rest just a little bit too. Nice entry, nice hands. Oh, Lee, Lee able to strip it on the way up. Down low. Tough catch for him. Yep. I mean, that's not Leaf. And right now, UCLA, they got to get out and have their pace to their offense. Too methodical, too deliberate. Nice pass, but you got to know your personnel. And of course, Steve Alford frustrated. That's 11 turnovers on the Bruins. They committed only three in their second round win against Cincinnati. Cal sort of shortened the game, getting a little later in the shot clock. Just to take the starch. They want to go UCLA. Frisco. Steps in, takes the jumper, bounces right back out to him. Smart. Well, that's again, about three or four up for grabs. UCLA not coming up with them. Willis. Oh, I don't know. Boy, does he go after it, huh? <laughs> Here's Ball on the drive. Goes to Hamilton in the corner. Wow. Boy, he stepped back just in time for the three. Is that a tough shot? Yeah. <laughs> You're right, backpedaling and regaining your momentum and nailing that baby. Very creative on that baseline drive by Ball. Willis passed up an open three. Hawkins will take it. And the senior delivers another one. And the leadership of that man making big shots. Wow. What a valuable asset this kid is. Hawkins with 11. You don't have to pamper him, I don't think. He's not scared of the moment either. Uh, he doesn't mind taking a box lunch while everybody has a steak. <laughs> Paul on Fox, his first. The Bruins really have not had a spurt, any kind of run tonight. 
I got eight think, minutes and 11 seconds. Are they going to have one in them? Because uh, yeah, they're down seven. Uh, uh, Jim, they may, but right now, Kentucky's defense has been solid. Resting people coming down the stretch. Monk back on the floor. Is Kentucky able to control the pace. Leaf doubled up. Leaves Holiday open for a moment. He'll take the jumper. Gets Ready. the bucket. And he knew he had Humphreys on that closeout. This is where you get spurts, Jim. Getting down the stance and coming up with the freebies. How about UCLA shooting 79% in the second half and they're minus two. <laughs> wow. They're down three at halftime, down five now, shooting 78%. And the reason is Monk, a good look here for Willis. Yes. Yeah. He's got to hit that shot. That yeah. shot will be there all night. Passed up a couple of times a few possessions earlier. Holiday, no. They're not in as much of a hurry. Game control, clock management. The last two trips for the Wildcats. The seniors have hit threes. Hawkins first and Willis. As we approach seven minutes. Leaf's got to be alert for any pick and pop with Willis. Or any kick to him. Box slipped on the floor. Calls a timeout. How smart is this kid? He even slips intelligently. Oh. He's having a huge night. Uh, making passes and Willis getting those organized. He just got engaged. Hey. A little delight in life. Nailing it. Well, the freshman guards for Kentucky in the middle of this game took over. And that's why right now it's an eight-point Kentucky lead. Again, Monk and Fox in one stretch scored 30 of Kentucky's 32 points. And I think they better get in touch with the Kentucky guards right now. <laughs> Stay right on them. Fox has been magnificent. As well as Monk. Left, it up. left handed wow. and gets the whistle. Well, you can own guys, as you well know, coming off screens when you're that talented. And I'll tell you what, you have to be feeling really good when you go to the basket and pull up from the free throw line with your left hand. Where the coach has no option. <laughs> <laughs> now call on Hamilton in the act of shooting. And Jim, you talked about Malik Monk turning it on. I thought at the end of the first half, he hit a couple of three-pointers, saw the ball go in the basket. We talk about that all the mm -hmm. time. And a great shooter, scorer like him, feeling the confidence now to take over like he did early second half. When you shoot that well, it's a religious experience. <laughs> now, this is where I've been impressed with their game, on the D. Oh, like an offensive foul. They got Leaf. Yeah. Uh, just nice foul, too. He just ran right through Willis. That was a pin down to get ball an opportunity. Coming in April, tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS. I really like when you say that. <laughs> Once a game. <laughs> <laughs> I just do what I'm told. <laughs> but it is getting close. Oh, it brings getting... it into focus when yeah. we hear you. Is that what it is? Yeah. Here's Fox. Right, Lee pulls it down. They yeah. got to get out here, UCLA and Trent. Got to get something easy. Up on the three. Ball. Monk takes off with it. Nice off the glass. What a, Welsh number five. And what a follow <laughs> at the end of that play. Talk about running a break and not giving up on your partners. This is just impressive. First Some ball. talent. Look at look at Fox. Doesn't give up on that play. Just utterly amazing. And number five for Welsh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And Fox, if he hadn't have been fouled, probably would have had a tip dunk there. That's, that's what he was looking for. Oh. Welsh only seeing 18 minutes of action before fouling out. And he's replaced on the floor by Holiday. It's going to be a one and one for Fox as Hawkins is ready to come in for Coach Cal. Coach Cal in the defensive stance over there. <laughs> Must have taken his wallet out. 
He has done well at like Kentucky, as you well know. He's done well in yeah. this building. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah. That's a he, great point. One time, he the, the, the Memphis record still stands. Won 47 straight games at home while in Memphis. He's done so well with this team this year, Jim. No question. And Fox is confirmed as the free throw shooter. Look at the monitor for a moment. One and one. I don't know if people understand how hard it is to take young people every year and mold them into a team that's willing and able and capable of sharing the ball. And right. Not a two or three year process oh. where everybody understands what the other guy they can depend on from one another. Exactly. He is the best at doing that in this team. 13 win. 13 game win streak right now. So playing their best basketball. They're doing it here on the defensive end. A quick timeout. Yep. And with that in mind. A lot of guys have juniors. Can't wait till the kids are seniors. <laughs> Time out UCLA. Kentucky with the biggest lead of the night. Patrick Johnson here tonight for the doubleheader. And Lonzo Ball draws the, the foul here. I think it may have been Fox on the grab. You got to think these kids too at Kentucky early in the, early in the year playing UCLA. And they remember that they do. UCLA put up 97 points in that win at Rupp Arena. We have 58 right now with a little under six minutes to play. Ball. Is they that travel on a fake move. And a bio with the influence. Again, excellent defensive preparation. Willis returns to the floor for Kentucky. And the presence of Bam. Ball call for that walk. Defensively now UCLA they, they have to try to speed the game up maybe trap a little bit and look there's still time They got an explosive offensive team. We know they can put up baskets in a hurry, but they got to do it on the defensive end first uh, There's that one two one one that they like to run but uh, This is a dynamic team if you overexpose in the front. They're gonna beat you at the rim They have nursed this clock pretty good in the second half not the matchup UCLA wants Risco drives in, goes back outside. Jumper Willis again. The senior is in a couple of big baskets late in this game. And, and it's amazing, Raft, how a dribble lead can get a defense out of sorts. That's Hamilton with a three. And they're setting up the press, extending a little bit more. But how about Prisco with that drive and five? They don't run the trap. But they might get one near half court. Basket by Hamilton ends a 8 0 run by Kentucky. 10 point margin with 4.40 to go. You got to be careful to slow your own momentum. And it's going to be late again. Fox. How about that kid? Ooh, Leaf, is he okay? All right, he wiggled right past Leaf, who hit the floor. Ball back out to Alfred. Well, they are really right up on the catch. Take away the threes. And make you challenge some tough twos. And De'Aaron Fox, so good at finishing at the rim. Just a little double pump finish. Leaf lands on his side there. But Fox has just been big from start to finish here for Kentucky. The 28 points now for Fox ties is season high. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament, NCAA.com, the Women's Final Four in Dallas, March 31st and April 2nd. As Florida leads by eight in the East Regional Semifinal. The winner over there to take on South Carolina come Sunday. Well, they have handled this with the good ball handling. Frisco, really the leader of this team. His impact in terms of playing hard, playing together, talked about by the staff. And also their backup point guard, another ball handler out there for Kentucky. Well, he can attack the rim, though. Fox, look at him recover. And then reach in on ball. And, and just been a fantastic heart hustle following the scouting report. Nothing easy for the Bruins. We saw Ellen Calipari as Alford off the front of the rim. 
Everything a tough shot or a challenge shot. Fox breaks it. The press getting ahead to Hawkins. Look at this post up for a fast break lob. A lob and yes. <laughs> bam, bam. I am. His first basket of the game. Well, they introduced themselves to him. <laughs> Hamilton. Oh, he's hit a couple of tough three shots. Tough-minded kid. He's amazing. Four out of five from three. A better rotation there. Might be another lob. Nope. Hawkins going to back up and use that clock. John had the stop sign out over there. Oh, yeah. Monk. Back out to Fox. And one in his hands with 2.40 to go. Spinning. And putting it up. Drawing contact. I'll tell you, Raph, your guy, Bam, he dunks it like he hates the rim. <laughs> I mean, just so strong and explosive. And the bench cheering on their big fella. And hey, that much John getting the big time. Yeah, he must have taken his ball out, like you said. <laughs> Jumped that high. Out of Bios, 99th dunk of the year out of 165 baskets. <laughs> I'm two thirds of them. But high quality the percentage, huh? Yep. After all the games are over, turn to TBS for Inside March Madness, presented by Buick. And right now they've exhibited a toughness, I think, tonight. And just the tenacity to get after people. Tate, Rising did a challenge, and Cal's one of the great tweakers, too. Well, without a doubt. And having a week to prepare for UCLA. Uh, I'm sure they had some tough practices and film sessions uh, in Lexington for the Wildcats. Challenge the shots. All third. They needed that one. Or they're deep. Taking away the threes as best they can. Careful those cross court passes if you're Kentucky. Bam is down on the baseline, salivating, waiting for a breakdown. Fox, who has his first 30 point game at Kentucky, has oh. two more for 32 on the night. Well, they said he was like John Wall. Basket counts for Hamilton. Talk about running a show, huh? Mm. Avoiding the contact, able to finish deals or find his partner. Dynamite running the show. Hamilton has been a bright spot tonight for the Bruins with 16 points, five rebounds. And what's amazing is that UCLA has just never gone on one of those runs Not that they're famous. Once. Not yeah. one time. They wouldn't let them. And they got good shots. Got a lot of loose stuff. Played with poise. And the two rookies supercharged performance. And a foul on Holiday. I heard a brief chant. SEC. The SEC already has. South Carolina in the Elite Eight. Kentucky a minute and 33. This isn't over, but it could be the second one in. And you got Florida and Wisconsin. It's a two point lead for the Gators. It's possible to be an all SEC East final, and three of the eight would be from the SEC. In the last couple of years, people were saying, What's wrong with the conference? I mean, it's, uh, it shows they've worked hard and they're scheduling to get teams in it. That slight body is impressive, though, isn't it? You know, that's strong. You made a great comparison to John Wall, but Fox is so his speed, but he is strong. He's deceptively strong with that frame. You ask him about that speed, and he says, "But I see the game in slow motion, and that's why it looks so graceful all the time out there." The great ones He's never at a loss. And his ball dunks it down to make it an 11-point margin. They got to get turnovers somehow. Good cut, good find right here. We sent him back to the line. Where he's eight out of nine. 
13 out of 20 from the field. 34 points for the game. And, and this has been two impressive performances that we've seen back to back for Kentucky. We, last week against the Shockers of Wichita State. Mm -hmm. They had to gut it out. They had to grind out that game and be physically tough. And, and today they just followed their game plan to a T and shown the growth of this young ball club against a very talented Bruins club. And you were right, that Wichita State oh. team so well coached and de so defensively minded. Everything is a grind against them. And yet, tonight, they will answer the course, taking away fast break opportunities. Nice puck. And timeout. A little hammer action. Yeah. Okay. Ten, you never know. Alford hits the three with 59 seconds to go. The fifth all-time score in Bruin history. Trying to find some way to extend the career. 59 to 50. <laughs> McLean. <laughs> well, still another game's going to be going on after this one. Again, that's on TBS. Wisconsin and Florida with the Gators up four, about nine minutes to go. But this is the 59th game of this NCAA tournament. And Fox's performance, that is the single highest output by any player so far in the tournament. His 36th, the most by any Kentucky player in the tournament since Tayshawn back in 2002, Tayshawn Prince. And he's going to have almost 35 minutes out there, too. He doesn't need a rest. And that was impressive against a very good, very talented UCLA ball club. But hey, this, this is coming into this game. Fox had led the team in scoring for five straight games. So assume that scoring role for the Wildcats and stepping up big from start to finish. You, you know how you pay for things later in the game? Not handling the ball screen at the beginning of the game got him into a comfort zone. Yep. And they, they didn't adjust to it for a while. And by that time, this kid was ready to go. Well, if they finish this thing out, we expect they will. You'll have a little Fox matchup against uh, Joel Berry, who all the talk was coming into his matchup against Butler. Berry, was the ankle going to be okay? Oh, boy, he was sensational this evening. The only difference is he's not player of the year. That yeah. he's going <laughs> up against. To, give, to give Fox that extra yeah. little. The, the drive. They got a clock issue. That'll be another revenge game, too. Kentucky UNC. Yeah, one of the great games of the year. Yeah. And a CBS Classic in yeah. Las Vegas. And a 103 100 final. <laughs> Kentucky won it behind 47 by Malik Monk. Nice hesitation, huh? Saved by. Alford, and it'll stay at this end with 40 seconds to go. And what a great se season this club has had, too. Only you know, four losses before the 31 and four. And Steve, uh, you know, a lot of adjustments, got it going, fantastic season. And everybody, of course, going to want to know what his plans will be mm -hmm. after this. Front of the rim, Alford follows it up. There was contact, but no call. Got it, too. It was fouled by his own man. I think Lee fouled him. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting comment, Jim. You know, a lot of things go on in a mind for a guy who's such a big name and so well regarded as his son here gets a little hit from his teammate inadvertently. Yeah. As to how happy they are out there. And whether he does may change his mind or make up his mind. Yeah. He has certainly brought excitement back to Westwood. Yes, this, he has. this team and the style of play and it big so, decisions ahead for him. It was so good, Magic was showing up. Ma exactly. Fox with 39. Final 25 seconds. Offered. And got a foul yeah. shot. Yeah. No, no whistle on that. That's going to close it out. Boy, a tough-minded defensive group. 
We always compliment those guys on the offensive end, but they put it together. Team defense was extraordinary. As you said, Raph, one of the best defensive performances I've seen thus far in the tournament, and that young man, Lonzo Ball, is it his last game probably at UCLA but had a fantastic season. Just not enough here tonight against De'Aaron Fox and the Wildcats. He's done a lot for basketball though. If this is the only year he's playing. He's got people on the West Coast excited. It was a good year in the Pac-12. And he's one of the bright lights too. And his younger brothers are on the way. Yeah. To Westwood. But. The Bruins season comes to an end. The highest scoring team in college basketball this year. Averaged over 90 points a game held to 75.